The first step is to score in the top side feather lines. Use the scoring hold and score down each feather line using one continuous movement. Repeat this two to three times for each line. Next, we're going to carve in the top side feathers. Carve down towards the feather tips using the edge of your gouge. Carve to the outside edge of both feather lines. Rescore and continue carving if needed. Then clean up the ridge using the sideways index hold. Repeat this on the opposite side. Now carve in the centre division using the same techniques. Carve to the left of the line. Here is the progress so far. Now we need to score in the underside feathers. Score in the feather lines using one continuous movement. Repeat this two to three times for each line. Next, carve in the underside feathers. Carve towards the feather at a 90 degree angle to the line. You're now carving against the grain. Rescore the lines if needed. Then continue carving. Once again, you can clean up the ridges using the sideways index hold. Repeat the whole process on the opposite feather.
Now carve in the centre division, as shown here. Here is the progress so far. We're very nearly there. Now we just need to carve in the feather tips. For this, we will use the knife in the whittling hold. Start by scoring in the side markings. I'm actually using the whittling hold for this. Then, slice in from the outside edge, as shown here. After a bit of carving, it will look something like this. Next, tidy up the underside shape. Slice down and then across. Finally, knock off any sharp edges and remove any saw marks. This is what you're aiming for in this video. In the next video, we'll be preparing all of the puppet pieces ready for painting.